Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another weekly objectives video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to do the draft Pacey Bits goals to get the 97 rated Pacey Bits Bernardo Silva. Um, obviously, we have uh, quite a few Pacey Bits cards, that is namely 18 Pacey Bits cards actually. Uh, and most of them are central uh, players, you know, camps, center forward, strikers. So when it comes to formations here, as to which formation we should probably we should use we should go for the more central formations that is uh, the formations with most central players as you guys can see straight away it paid off with a uh, pacey with bernardo silva um i will skip forward to show you guys the final finished team um one more thing that you guys will see here is that don't be afraid to play a pacey bits card out of position all right so see there kyle walker i know he's not gonna fit in but i played him at striker anyways and um something weird happened as you guys can see i played him at striker but he had to make a save somehow um yeah, i guess that works uh but our keeper didn't even get a red card nonetheless uh don't be afraid to play your pacey bets cards out of position if you have extra ones i will show you guys another example real soon and uh, make sure that you're always picking up the more central formations it's okay if you have a winger or two because you can always have insignia the other thing that you guys can uh, see from this thing is i picked morata over korea because i have a more um, wider range to get korea i have more opportunities to get korea because i can play at cam as well and as you guys can see it paid off right there because i got korea in this in the same draft not that it affected that draft as much but yeah as you guys can see uh, he did come up later and here's another example of how you can you know play the pacey bits cards out of position make sure you pick as many pacey bits players as possible make sure you try and get them lots of him but when you see a pacey bits player or if, if if it's up to a pacey bits player versus an icon you should always pick the pacey bits player because you want them goals with the pacey bits players the other thing you also want to do is like when they offer to substitute a pacey bits player out a pacey bits spc card out or a pacey bits card as it is actually called um you should never never ever take that option because you know always there is an op there is a chance that he could score a goal i mean sometimes it's a fail but you should at least give yourself that 50 50 shot of him scoring a goal it might even turn out to be an assist at times it might even be a defensive contribution at times but what I'm saying is you have to give yourself that one in three or one in four shot because it is seven goals nonetheless. And uh, as to when you guys should restart the draft, I guess like if you don't get um, a pacey bits player in the first few chances, you should uh, obviously go for the you should obviously restart the draft. And the other thing, as you guys would have seen with this draft, I went for many different leagues and I've tried to fit in pretty much all of the pacey bits players that I had in my formation and uh, as you guys can see that paid off because you see I got a goal with Nelson Semedo I did not sub him out here but it wouldn't have been a problem because it was a defensive substitution if you guys can make that out from the substitution options that I've given but you can see here I fit in Jose Callahan as well and you guys can see he got a goal for himself so make sure you fit in as many pacey bits players as you can into your formations give them decent chemistry but once again if they're even if they're not getting chemistry play them up there and uh, make sure you're playing the lowest draft league that is available and uh, here i was on six goals um and i was pretty sure i was going to finish it off in this one uh we had uh, quite a few pacey bits spc players but i had to attend to a call and that disrupted the screen recording over here actually for a bit uh so uh, it's gonna go straight on to um when we finish and when we get the actual pacey bits uh sbc bernardo silver card as you guys can see right here i'm gonna show you real quick we probably missed it due to the phone call and so we should be looking at a good 97 rated pacey bits spc bernardo silva so basically make sure you have more central formations make sure you're playing as many pacey bits players as you can even if they're on low cam or out of position at times make sure you're restarting the drafts you know probably four or five players in if you haven't got you know a pacey bits player early on and always make sure that you are picking your strikers first strikers and cams because that's where you're more likely to get pacey bits players hopefully this video helped you guys out i will see you guys with another weekly objectives video real soon hopefully versus duels and the pack of the week 
until then i'll see you guys again goodbye